Hey guys, it's Jessica. You gotta have a Jessica and Cody here with another reaction. This is to Blood Drive, season one, episode twelve. Um, I think this is the finale, or it's like the second to last episode. I don't know. <laughs> um, I have no idea. Somebody will let me know know down below because I'm not paying attention to my episode numbers. Apparently, I'm sorry. Um. I'm very, very excited to watch this. This is like one of my favorite shows. Um, hopefully there's a season two, fingers crossed. Um, I haven't really been following any news on this show, so I have no idea what's going to be happening, but I really like it. Um, hopefully we see what the heck happens to fi finish off what happened from the last episode, because Arthur is now the new primo, Grace has left... Her sister's a freaky psycho killer, and uh, uh, Christopher and um, what's her face are off doing their own thing. So, <laughs> yeah, without further ado, let's get this reaction started, and I will see you guys on the other side. Are proud to present the Primo Memorial Tribute Week. Yeah, I thought it was Meryl Streep. It's Bear Smith. Wow. Jesus. Who the heck are those guys? Oh, my God. You're not here to honor me. Dude, they're going to kill you. And you know that happy life you always wanted with me now's the chance to make that your reality forget heart be my queen and rule this wasteland with me as prima wow. royalty you can be my queen bee in a harem of other bees are you crazy arthur am i crazy every girl on earth would kill for that offer You know what? Fuck you. And fuck you too. Dude. X marks the spot. <sighs> Every primo thinks that he's special. That he'll be the first to break the mold and live on. Go on. And just like all the other pathetic saps, the signs were in front of you the whole time. The tribute, the tribute is a sacrifice. We didn't even have to hide it. You uh, blinded yourself with pride. You see, the truth is, in this dark and disgusting depraved world. No one's special. No one survives. No one leaves a legacy. Not even you. You all right? The bastard's gonna pay. Arthur's over. They're never gonna stop. We have to get out of here before the two of them can kill you. The two of them? Oh my god, no, Christopher, She's been what? This whole time. Probably since day one. I know you like her, but it doesn't change the fact that she what? betrayed you. This doesn't make any sense. Prove it. So I records everything I see. You think I want Arthur? 
I want Arthur to die. I want Arthur to die. I want to be primo. Much I want to be primo. God. I want to be primo. <sighs> what? There's only one primo. There's what the there's hell? Christopher, what the heck are you doing? Oh. I won't beg. I won't make you. It's over. I agree. Shit we went through it was for a reason it was to make the world a better place this fucking race it got us off track you're not bad you're arthur bailey fight for that because that's worth fighting for i want you to do it finish her Don't be a pussy. Uh, you weak fuck. You know what? Cut your own balls off while you're at it. You are a shitty cop. And you're an even shitty primo. Now do it! Okay. That... Oh my god. That cannot be Christopher. Oh my god. Yeah! Uh! Julian Slink here. You're cancelled. Wow. What the fuck is that thing? How did you know it wasn't Christopher? I didn't. I almost killed you. You're the only person in the world I can trust. The person I've fallen in love with. to the place that I could kill my best friend. No, the jacket's just a symbol. That wasn't you. That was hard. This... This just means whatever you want it to mean. the deal i'm done with their fucking notes all right it's time to put these assholes out of business you wanna i wanna what do you say we partner up you you said that I once before let's destroy the company that helps make your show my show's finished i'm done with their chain around my neck time for the rap party and it's gonna be a blast what is that? I got idea from the gentleman's little escapade, so I rounded up these little puppies for just such an emergency. Which is? We're a day's drive away from their headquarters at Hart Tower. There's enough boom in this bag to bring that company down forever. I'll leave it I don't know, to... man. The last time you, you wanted their help, you, you... This happened. He's only fucked us over. I don't know. Every single time. Yeah. And we've survived every single time. We've been through way too much to let them win. 
Reverse karma now, Christopher. Let's put those bastards six feet under. Every last one. I built a new you to send to fuck with my sister. But it failed. So, what are you gonna do about it? I'm terrible. You know, I could always send another copy of you to try again. But wouldn't it feel good to have this thick neck between your hands? Turn it off. Turn it off! The list of upgrades. Christopher, think of what... Do it! I don't like this. Oh my god. Give me all the mods. No. Oh no. So this episode was good. Um I have some complaints, just a few, but I liked it. Basically, the majority of this episode was Arthur was limited up as the primo, um, and, uh, he and Christopher get reunited, and at first I was like, oh, yeah, that's like Christopher, yay! I was like, I was like, oh, they somehow reunited, that's fine, but yay, they're together! Um, and they're talking, they're chit-chatting, and then it's revealed that the whole tribute to the primo is they're gonna kill him for some reason um and grace and christopher uh try to get involved to try and stop him um they get captured they get trapped in a car thing um Arthur is going to be put through the soul acclimator, which we saw in the previous episode where the what the thing that um karma went through. Um, Grace and Christopher get out, um, Grace tries to stop Slink, and Christopher goes to talk to Arthur, I think, I don't know, um, it's a little bit fuzzy, there's a lot of stuff going on, um, so Grace is talking to Slink, and Slink basically reveals, oh no, um, uh, a little back trap, Grace went to go talk to Slink, and Christopher was going to free Arthur because Arthur was like trapped in the chair and he's going to be sucked into the soul acclimator. So while he's doing that, um, Grace is talking to Slink and Slink reveals that the soul acclimator, if you have no soul, you go through and your body isn't destroyed. But if you do have a soul, you become a monster or goo, I think. I don't know. Um, something along those lines. So when Karma went through it, she had no soul, basically, because she came out completely unharmed. Wowza. Um, so while that is going on, we get this Ballad of Karma, part one and part two, or chapter one and chapter two, whatever. And it's basically how she became the white-haired guy um, running the heart enterprises. It was interesting, but also she is really, really, really creepy. Like, majorly creepy. Like, wow. Um, that was interesting. Um, I'm hoping to get to see, like, chapter three and four or something. I don't know. We probably won't, but that was kind of cool. Um, and it's almost filmed like a reality TV show. <laughs> Like, there's a cameraman and there's a girl with a mic. I'd be so freaking scared if I was those two. I'd be terrified. I'd, I'd be killed by her for doing wrong, one wrong thing. Um, but yeah, we see that. That was interesting. Um, Christopher gets Arthur free. He then tells Arthur that Grace wants to become the primo and wants to kill him. Which is not true. That did not happen. Um, so Grace and Arthur fight. Um... They eventually stop fighting, like, he's, uh, he, like, is, uh, with a little weapon stick thingy. Um, Christopher comes up behind him, he's like, kill her, she wants to do this to you, and 
he turns around and stabs Christopher. And about halfway through, when he started saying all this stuff about Grace, Christopher, I was like, okay, that cannot be Christopher. That cannot be him. Um, and it wasn't. It was a robot, because Arthur stabbed him, and it was revealed that he was a robot. Okay. Um, Karma cancels Blood Drive. I guess for good. They've been threatening to cancel it for a while now, but I guess she did it for real, for real. Um, so Slink is like, I want to help you and Grace, because Arthur and Grace are now back together. They had a very sweet moment. They're cute. So I guess now he wants to help them. But the last time he said he wanted to do something with them, they ended up here. So they don't trust him either, so they're like, okay, that's cool, but they're off. Um, they got a bunch of glowy stuff, which apparently is supposed to destroy the Heart Corporation building or something. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool to see. Um, it is then revealed that Christopher and Aki are trapped somewhere, and Karma knows where they are. She shows Christopher the footage of um, him killing the Christopher robot. He gets super pissed, and is like, I want all the mods! I'm like, oh no. Oh no, what are you doing? I'm so confused. Oh man. So that's gonna be interesting. I don't I don't know where that's going. Um there's like one episode? There has to be. There has to be at least one more episode. You cannot end there. No. Um but I hope there's one more episode because I need to find out what happens. Oh my god. This show has been just a roller coaster of ups and downs and so many twists. It's such a good show. I love it. Um, if you enjoyed my reaction, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. I have all on social media for my Patreon page if you want to be in early access if you want to see videos early. And as always, please subscribe. It really helps me out. And I will see you guys here soon with a new video.